Stefano here, bassoonist for the Red Rock Wind Quintet. Thank you for joining us again in our video series. Today, we are talking about what to expect as a bassoon player in a wind quintet, including listening to some musical examples presented by the Red Rock Wind Quintet, recorded live from previous recitals. This brief introduction explores some typical duties of the bassoonist in this chamber ensemble. So what is the role of the bassoon in the quintet? We are the bass voice of the quintet, usually responsible for providing the pedal, the root of the chord, or the foundation for the ensemble. In conjunction with delivering the bass texture, we play a crucial role as a member of the rhythm section. Let's look at Paquito de Rivera's Eris Tropicales Movement 2 song, where performed by the Red Rock Wind Quintet. In this example, we will see and hear the bassoon parts serve as the bass and rhythm textures for much of this movement. of fantastic wind literature have not forgotten about the dexterity and versatility of the bassoon and we will see melody and counter melody lines throughout our part in quintet. We can hear the use of the bassoon as a melodic voice in our next listening example presented by the Red Rock Wind Quintet. In the first movement of Anton Rijka's second quintet from his Opus 88 collection, the piece opens with a chorale with the bassoon serving as the bass voice before the bassoonist assumes the role of the soloist, introducing the theme for the first movement. Let's listen. <laughs> Soonest, we can see we have quite a varied role as a member of the wind quintet. We are always working to fill the texture with our unique timbre and range. Playing the bassoon in the quintet is a very enjoyable experience. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.